Welcome inside, Paul Jones and Sherman Hamilton. And behind us, the Raptors are still practicing. Not the players, Sherm, but the coaching staff. And uh, it's getting a little personal back there. Yeah, some things are being said that we don't want to air on camera. And, you know, some guys are going to be pretty upset going into the evening. Well, it's a good thing, though, because, yeah. you know, when you're coaching, they say you don't know till you actually do, and then you have to teach. They're talking about getting over screens and going under and closeouts and all of these things now they're experiencing them and that has to help when you're teaching knowing what the players are feeling when they're going through it well it does and i think what you're able to do in three on three scenarios is you're able to kind of work through things and kind of make different adjustments on the fly and see if they work but obviously replicating it on the floor is something that you know is going to help you down the yeah. road but this is more about these guys talking smack to each other and really trying to dominate each other so that when they're sitting on the bench maybe when Dwayne Casey's out there talking to the team they can say remember what I did to you yesterday <laughs> <laughs> as our producer David Leader says some guys won't talk till tomorrow when it's game time all right Sherm let's look back at uh, last night Raptors defeat the Pistons they do a terrific job holding them under 90 points 23rd straight win when holding an opponent under 100 they've won 27 games when holding teams to 45 or less this year a team rooted in defense much different from last year's team at this same point right at the all-star break well I agree Jonesy I think this team is really starting to believe internally that the defensive end of the floor is going to sustain them you know even against Detroit we saw some good offensive flow at times yeah. but I thought especially in the second half their defense was great and when you know Andre Drummond hit that three-quarter shot end of the third I thought the fourth quarter the response for the first few minutes was excellent from a defensive perspective so they're doing it the right way and I think when you look back to last season at this point right after the all-star break they had a game against Atlanta and they pummeled Atlanta yeah. and then things went downhill and I, I don't get that feeling right now I get a feeling that these guys believe in the defensive side so offensively if it's not clicking they can still get wins because they're confident that they can get stops and make the game important there. Sherman it is a benchmark because as you said they were here last year and things went downhill they're going to get to the playoffs again as another benchmark and they've got to go forward from there but when you look at the grand scheme of things 14 of the last 15 have been W's and if this is Golden State or San Antonio I mean Oklahoma City had a 20 and 2 run since Christmas if you look at that people would take notice and it seems like the Raptors are just quietly going about their business the last game they lost was to Cleveland on January the 4th that was the last one before the loss in Denver they've been a long time in between losses they have and you know you're right the bigger teams this would be made more of a newsworthy topic but the reality is you look at what the Raptors have done and you know in any month there's about 12 to 15 games on the roster for a team and you consider they've won 14 of 15 games that's impressive and and again I think this team is building good habits Dwayne Casey's done a great job of keeping them on the rails and focused on the right things and to their credit the winning hasn't gotten them fat hasn't gotten them sassy they're winning but they're still digging wins out and they're doing it when they're losing they're doing it with leads they're doing it from every perspective so I think this is great training ground for what they can expect for the second half the unofficial second half of the season well well, you will see that young talent on display. 8 o'clock Wednesday night from right here on this floor at the Target Center. The game can be watched on TSN. You'll hear Sherman and I with the radio call at TSN 1050.